Quinny, at long last, you're back tomorrow for the big game against Port Vale. What have the uh, the last few weeks been like for you? Yeah, it's been pretty torture, to be honest. Um, yeah, and also along with that, it's there's not been a Tuesday game in the league to make it go a little bit quicker. So it's been pretty much five, six weeks, which has been which has been held kind kind of you know just training and and nothing to work for for the end of the week. Um, I thought it was um, it was a harsh six game ban penalty, to be honest. Um, but you know I've accepted that, took me medicine, and um, yeah, obviously I've let the lads and the manager down. Um, which I'm disappointed about, and some of my experience shouldn't shouldn't have kind of gave the referees a, a decision to make. But I mean that's gone now, and I'm 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 only focused on his, his uh, part fail tomorrow night. Have you managed to look at any of the last six games? Yeah, I've watched the games. You know, it's been up and down, and like I said earlier, it's just chop and change because of the bizarre scenario we find ourselves in with um with injuries, concussions and uh, suspensions, it's it's something I've never seen a lot of in my in my career to come all at once. Um you know, I haven't helped out with my with my sending offs. Um but um just for you know, Maris getting knocked out and and uh, Perchy obviously is, is is a major loss for us this season because he was he was our pr- pretty much our talisman, he was our leader, you know, around the building in, on the pitch. So you know, to, to try and replace him has been difficult. What can be said then about the disruption that that, that has caused, the lengthy injury list and the suspensions? Well, it, I mean, it's it's luckily we have a big enough squad like where the young lads have been trying with us throughout, you know, the the season, uh, so they know what we're a, a bit about and they can step in and fill the void. But it's it's difficult when it, when the the uh, the team is chopping and changing so much. Um, it's got to be difficult for the manager. I, mean, I can imagine it's it's been he's been pulling his hair out of late with uh, with the decisions he's had to make and the chopping and changing. But um, like I said, we've got myself and Tyrese back for tomorrow, and hopefully Maris isn't too far away and. And then we can kind of settle down and get get back into the to, to the swing of it. But I mean, tomorrow night's a big game, and we we need to uh, we need to get out and put a big performance on. What will it take to to produce, as you say, a big performance? Just a bit of guts and a bit of endeavour and a, a bit of desire to get on the ball and and people stepping up, you know, and and being counted for, you know, and having the ball and, and basically going back and enjoying it again. Maybe we are a little bit uptight at times. Um, but again, that's the chopping and change and confidence obviously coming off the back of a few average results, I suppose. But I mean, it, as long as you work hard, run hard and you know put your foot in, then it gets the fans going because they like to see hard work. I, I know that in every club I've been to, it's, you know, that's the minimum requirement um, as a footballer. And then that will get the, the bums off the seat, so to speak. And then um, from there, you can, you know, when, when the atmosphere is electric in a stadium, then they get behind you and you can, you, can, you can win games just off the back of that. You have been greatly missed in the last six league games. Just how eager are you to get back out there tomorrow? Well, that's how I play, you know. I'm quite eager and I'll run around and, get, and give my all, you know. Um, so, obviously, letting the lads down and the manager in this last six weeks, um, I've got a lot to... Uh, to give now, so I'm, I'm well rested and I'm looking forward to getting out there. Your omission, as I say, has been obvious for the last six league games. What about in the dressing room on a match day? What do you think you add to that to that dressing room? Well, I try to add a, a voice, you know, and I mean, a lot of young lads don't really naturally speak up. I mean, it's it's something they probably need to add to the games, to, to their games, but um, I don't know. I probably add a bit of crack as well to relax, to get the relaxing mood. And, but when when that whistle blows, we're on it, and I, you know, I, I demand like it, we we demand high levels, and and I'll I'll be barking there, barking around the pitch, obviously too much at the referees sometimes, but um, you know, I have a desire to win, and and I want to win, and that's that's that comes out in my play.